Hello, this is Mr. Stansbury. I'm going to take you through the notes on more proofs practice. Okay, at the end of this, you should be able to say I can use the congruence criteria in various proofs. Okay, so uh, we're just going to do some examples here. So first one, example, given GH is congruent to KJ segment. Um, so let's mark that down. We've got GH congruent to JK. KJ, um, HL is congruent to JL, so HL is congruent to JL, okay, and then um, L is also the midpoint of GK, so this is the midpoint right here. All right, so <clears throat> since that is the midpoint, midpoint is going to cut this GK exactly in half, so this segment is going to be the same as that, so let's get that uh Let's get that in there. So first thing, statement. Let's, um, we can take care of actually all of our givens all in one statement to make our uh, life a little easier, make it a little quicker. So let's do this, GH, uh, segment GH is congruent. There we go, to uh, KJ. And we also know that HL is congruent to JL. Right, and let's see, we also know that L is the midpoint of GK, so we can put that in there too, okay? And the reason why we know that is that is all given to us, okay? So we have two, <coughs> excuse me, we have two sides that we have congruent, and we're going to also be able to figure out this side here is congruent to that, so um, we've got the two set, let's figure out that, um, let's do... Let's get GL congruent to LK. All right, so we know that GL is congruent, segment GL is congruent to segment LK because that is a midpoint. So we would just write definition of a midpoint. Okay, and remember mid midpoint says that it cuts it exactly in half. So we now know that this segment is congruent to that segment. So our third and last step is that we have now proven because we have all of these, we have side, side, side. So we know now know that triangle GHL is congruent to triangle KJL, right? And the reason why we know that is because of side, 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 okay? All right, so let's uh, move on. Just kind of taking a quick note here. We if you go GHL, G to H to L for the triangle. So this has also got to go in order. So that's gonna we're gonna start with K along the line, the the similar line over here, K to J to L, K J L. So K J L. The order does matter on your triangle congruence. All right. Um, next example, example two, given that WX is congruent to Z, Y, Z, so WX is congruent to Y, Z, this right here, WX is parallel to Y, Z, so this line here is parallel to that, so let's do this, little, little parallel lines, markings, we're going to prove that triangle W, X, Z is congruent to triangle Y, Z, X. Okay, so first thing, let's get our givens um, out of the way here. Okay, there's our given. Now, um, we know, since these lines are parallel, we know that by alternate interior angles, so we're trying to do W, X, Z, so this triangle here congruent to this triangle here. So we can do this. We know that this angle right here is going to be congruent to this angle right here because these are, here's the our parallel lines, alternate interior angles theorem okay okay so we have got this angle congruent to that alternate interior angles and then we also know that this zx is going to be congruent to itself because it's the reflexive property that we've been using a lot lately okay so there's that and now we have two sides and an angle on each one two sides and an angle so Here's what we like to do. So we have two sides, side, side, and an angle. So we have two sides, 
and then that angle happens to be where these two sides meet so that means it goes side angle side so we're gonna put a for angle in the middle so we now know that these two triangles are congruent because of side angle side so let's just write that in there okay so there we go W X Z is congruent to triangle Y Z X because of side angle side theorem okay all right one last one but before we do that let's take a quick little comedy break shall we oh <laughs> did you see did you get it can you, can you see Uh, continue on here last <clears throat> excuse me example all right so given that angle P is congruent to angle R so this angle is congruent to this angle Q S bisects angle P Q R so we'll be able to figure out we should know from that that this angle is going to be congruent to this angle but we don't know that yet so we got to prove it we got to show it first okay so First, let's put in our given statements, okay? So, since QS bisects angle PQR, we know that PQS is going to be congruent to RQS because of definition of an angle bisector, right? Okay, so we now know that PQS is congruent to RQS. All right, so we've got two angles. We also know that SQ has to be congruent to itself because of the reflexive property, right? So let's get that in there. Okay, so we now have this side congruent to itself. So we have here an angle, another angle, and a side. So to figure out if it's angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side, let's do the thing that we have two of. We have two angles. So this angle and this angle if it was angle side angle this side would have to connect those two angles but it doesn't so it's going to be angle angle side is what we're going to end up with okay but but angle angle side is one of our congruencies uh, that we can use so let's uh, show that those two triangles are congruent because of angle angle side okay so there we go we have those we have proven that that pqs triangle pqs is congruent to rqs okay all right, uh, that's all there is for more proofs practice. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.